Colorado legislators approved a bill to create cannabis credit co-ops. Colorado legislators took the banking problem for cannabis businesses into their own hands by approving House Bill 1398 to create cannabis credit co-ops. Marijuana businesses have had a difficult time when it comes to banking. The big banks remain uncomfortable dealing with a business whose product is illegal on the federal level. The Justice Department tried to address the issue with a weekly worded memo, which the banks did not find very reassuring. The co-ops will have to get approval from the Federal Reserve in order to offer credit cards and checking accounts, but that doesn't seem likely. If the Federal Reserve approved this, it opens a huge can of worms for other illegal businesses to request their own special banks. Many dispensaries in Colorado advertise that they accept credit cards, even though the credit card companies insist they won't work with the marijuana business. So it seems as if they've resolved the credit card problem already. However, paying vendors and employees is still an issue. The Colorado bill states that the credit co-op would only be available to entities that are licensed to own or operate a marijuana business. If you go out of the business, you're out of the co-op. And it isn't just about the businesses. Colorado also says in the bill that the lack of banking hurts the state's ability to track and verify the accounting of a licensed marijuana business. Still, the co-ops aren't all rainbows and unicorns. The deposits at the co-ops can be subject to seizure by the federal government and are not federally insured. Plus, the state of Colorado won't defend the co-op in the event of a seizure. And you can take that to the bank or not. I'm Deborah Borchart with your daily hit.